All right. We're ready. Let's do this. Ah, yes. I remember now. I do wish they actually did launch it correctly. From what I know, they only launched it in Japan, and it only lasted about a year or two. Mainly because of server issues. I believe it's pronounced Luminality. I didn't. I, ne I never played Dot Hack Versus, though I have seen gameplay of it. L U M I N A L I T Y. Luminality. Like luminous. Come to think of it, everything may have begun spinning out of control from this place. Don't you think so, Masao? Legend I didn't like, I'll admit that. No, it's not. That is Ovan, aka Triage. But there is no going back now. After all, the entire life I've given to the world was all for this day. You were the one who PK'd Shino? You were the one who PK'd Shino? Yes. Furthermore, I am also the one who drew in Sakaki, and the one who gave him Ida. I wouldn't mind that. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do that, Ovan? For you, Hazel. Hmm. I haven't seen Beyond the World. But I have seen the trilogy movie. Me? To make you grow up strong. Just for something like that? Just for something you like that. You. Now, I'll explain what kind of job class. Ovan is. He is known as a steam gunner. So, technically, he actually could be considered similar to Mega Man. Something like this? That's not it, Hussein. Everything was part of a necessary process. Thanks to you! That's true. Kuhn is a steam gunner as well. Shino! Shino, Alcade, Alcade and... Adelie! Adelie! You'll pay for this. You'll pay for this, Ovan. You will. You will. We'll pay ya. Not all of them are. It's quite a few blade brandiers and dark warhawks as well. Bring it on. And you guys are welcome to chat. I might not say much. Yes, I know about that, actually. 
I believe this is the special edition of the plane. No, He's controlling Ida? He's controlling Ida. Controlling? No. Let's just say we understand each other. That is true. They are on PS2. Ida and I are dangerous friends. And so... Now, Haseo. Become strong. Surpass your limits! And then... Kill me! <laughs> Come the Reaper! Corbinic! Ah! An avatar? He's an epitaph you, user. You're an epitaph user? <laughs> All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right, right here. Skate. <laughs> Show me your power. This is the truth you desire. Thank you. 
guys. Oh, Vaughn. I'm not even I'm not even here close to finished. Try me, Ovan. <laughs> Data Drain There's a Fire Emblem game for the Nintendo Switch, if you choose to get a Switch. No, this isn't the death I've been wishing for. It was too soon, after all. After, after chasing down after chasing a triad for, for all this, this time. time. Congratulations, Haseo. Yada. Ah, Beyond the Beyond. Very good game. Very underrated game. Not many people are familiar with it. I've been thinking about getting a Switch, but I might end up getting a PS5 instead. Yara. You don't seem thrilled. Even after having your dearest wish granted. Dearest wish? Dearest this? wish. This? Is it not? The truth you sought so long after is now firmly within your hands. <laughs> A couple of my fellow live streamers actually play Super Mario Maker 2 and um, Brawl Ultimate. The truth. Huh? The truth, huh? Do you think that Shino and yeah, Arcade, okay, and the lost, the lost ones, ones, were able to return, able to, return to, the to, to the real world? All you have done thus far is managed to PK Triage. You have merely caught a tiny glimpse of Triage's truth. <laughs> I 
I still have my GameCube along with Melee. And I even have the original Smash and my N64. Did you really think that would be enough to save the girls? No. Now you understand. Just because you've PK'd your nemesis, it doesn't mean that what you lost will return. Ah, uh, Persona 5. My buddy Bojangles actually just recently beat Persona 5 a couple weeks ago. Even if you gain fragmentary truth, it will only serve as mere information. If you do not guess at the entirety, it will be impossible to rescue the lost ones. <laughs> He's never, he actually hasn't beaten, um, he hasn't platinum P5 yet. I never had an Xbox either. I did have a GameCube though. Ah, I love the Persona games. Very fun. I've actually only played four of the games. I've played Persona 2 through 5. I haven't played the original yet. That is why we must find out. Ah, uh, Tales of Symphonia, Skies of Arcadia. Great games. Seems I'm not the only one who's into obscure games. Tons of great games I've played. Everything from Cardia to Jake Cocoon to Azure Dreams to the Persona games to Shadow of the Colossus. Um, oh man. What else? Um, the Atelier Iris games, Skies of Arcadia, Shenmue, um, Fantasy Star, Wonders from Ease, three of the games, and of course, one of my personal favorite franchises, the Breath of Fire series. Shadow Hearts as well. Love the Shadow Hearts games. Precisely what Ida is and how it works. I actually haven't played Shadow Hearts Covenant. Sukoden. Freaking love Sukoden. Sukoden 2 is my personal favorite of the series. For Breath of Fire, I think I'd have to go with probably the first game. Either the first or second. If you check out my other YouTube channel, Kiriyamato99, you'll be able to see my Breath of Fire 1 and 2, um, Let's Plays. In order. I don't think I actually did as good a job as my buddy H.C. Bailey, but personally, I think I did a decent job. Tales of Destiny, ah, uh, and of course, the somewhat sequel, Tales of Fantasia. If any of you are into J-pop, I know of a game you would love. Ever heard of Thousand Arms? The intro song to that song, to that game I should say, is actually the debut single of Ayumi Hamasaki. It is called Depend On You. Actually, Thousand Arms did not have a sequel. It's not to my knowledge. Facts. Unless it was only released in Japan. The truth of what has happened in this world. Ah. Uh, I don't think it was released in Japan. I mean, I mean, I don't think it was released in the U.S. Tales of Returnia. That one I actually... Uh, 
I've seen gameplay of it, but I haven't played it myself. I have played the Tales of Destiny games, though, and um, Tales of Fantasia. I'll tell you another awesome game. Now, don't get the PSP version, Lunar. Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. Not the Sega CD, not the Sega My Saturn version. Is over. Get the PS1 version. Freaking love that game. But then, what's really changed since I began? Both of them, if you could find them. Personally, I like both both games myself. I think the original is the, is the better one, though. In the end, I wasn't, wasn't able, able to, to save, save anyone. anyone. I'm tired. Shino. Shino. Yeah, I agree. The PSP version, the supposed remake of Lunar, of the original Lunar. Mm -mm. I have played it, I have beaten it, didn't like it. It was actually one. <laughs> oh man, I freaking love Legend of Mana. It's nowhere near as good as Secret of Mana, but Legend of Mana is it's good in its own way. There's, speaking of Lunar, there's actually an interesting quote that me and one of my gamer buddies used to use to describe Ramus. We used to call him Famous Ramus. <laughs> I'm done. For now, I just want to go back to the real world and rest. That's right. Just like famous friends. Ah, I love Growlance. I have Growlance generations on my PS2. It's basically a RPG strategy type game. Some people would actually consider it similar to uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. Not an easy game, I'll admit that. I've actually only played the first two games, though I did like them. Ah, Devil Saga. I don't recall inviting guests to visit. Great series. Another interesting, another funny quote from Lunar is um, when you fight Nash, we actually said. We're about to we're, we're about to thrash Nash and take out the trash afterwards. <laughs> Nobody likes him. I've never actually played the Legend of Heroes games.
uh, Xenosaga. Honestly, I'm actually not a big fan of the Xenosaga series. I prefer Xenogears myself. Even though I do think Xenogears has a lot of flaws in it. She must be feeling pretty insecure without Sakaki. Delta hidden forbidden holy ground. Hulgrans Cathedral. Hulgrans Cathedral. All right, I'll go. Ah. Oh, I agree there. Xeno Gears is definitely the best Xeno game. Another personal favorite of mine? The Earth the Mother series, aka the Earthbound series. I actually have all of the Mother games. It took me years to get the patch for the um for Mother 3. I know. I've seen the I've seen Oh, I've seen I've seen Xeno Gears run for Close to six hundred dollars. I'll go see Adam at Delta Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. I always try to take care of my games as much as I can. Because you never know when you're going to be able to find it. another copy. Ah, I freaking love Earthbound. I actually did a, a Let's Play of it a few years ago. It's actually one of my very first Let's Plays behind Turtles in Time, Chrono Trigger, and, um... My first Link to the Past, though. Oh, God. Golden Sun. I haven't played that in years. I was so pissed when I saw the ending to Golden Sun. I was so freaking pissed. If any of you have... I haven't beaten it. I'm not going to reveal anything, but trust me, when you see the ending to it, you're going to be extremely pissed. I think because of Ness and Lucas actually being in Brawl, I think that's what also made it popular. Hassel. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Mm. What's wrong? Did something happen? Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest and the original Dragon Warrior are probably the first two RPGs I ever played. Am I, am I not allowed to see you without a reason? There's still a lot of great Square and Enix games around. You just gotta look for them. Interesting fact. The original Breath of Fire 
game was actually made by Squaresoft. Yet all the others were actually made by Capcom. Capcom's actually made quite a few games. They made Street Fighter, they made four of the Breath of Fire games, they made Phoenix Wright, um, and of course the Mega Man games. Speaking of Phoenix Wright, I actually have the, um, the remake, the trilogy. I was actually going to do a Let's Play of it, but... And yes, they did make Resident Evil. I was actually going to do a live stream of, um, the Phoenix Wright trilogy, but I've been too busy to do so. I did start on it, but I didn't get a chance to finish it. Come on, that's not what I mean. That's not what I mean. Did you know that Phoenix Wright didn't originally come out for the DS? It originally came out for the Game Boy Advance. I've actually played all three versions. Trust me. You want some good obscure games? Try Royal Blood, aka Gemfire. There's also um In the Way of the Ninja. Um Oh my god. No More Heroes is coming back, by the way. It's actually a third game that's supposed to be coming out for the Switch later this year. That's one of the reasons I might end up getting a Switch. I've heard it's actually coming out for the PS4 as well. Oh, that is going to be so good. I freaking... I freaking love... No More Heroes. I thought it was hilarious when I found out that No More Heroes was going to be on the... On a Nintendo console. I, ne I never thought they would ever do that. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, No More Heroes is so awesome. I thought they were, I thought the first one was better than the first, than the second, I should say, but the second one is actually pretty decent. I didn't like the final boss fight of the second game, though. I see there's a triage sign here, too. Uh... This is the place where Shino, Shino. was PK'd by Ovan. PK'd by Ovan. sign formed here. sign formed here. And then she fell into a coma. And then she fell into a coma. After fighting Ovan, I, finally I went to see Shino, Shino in the hospital. the hospital. But she was, she was no, no better, better than she was, she was before. before. I actually haven't played the last story. If any of you have any emulators, Super Nintendo emulators, I know of a few games you should definitely download. Mainly Ninja Wave the Ninja, Gemfire, aka Royal Blood, um, Nobunaga's Ambition. Which is also, there's also a version for the PS4. And... Uncharted Waters. Both the original and New Horizons. Haseo. Ah, uh, Masamune. I... I... Haseo... 
I want to say... What's wrong? Ah, Sakura Wars. I think there was an anime series of that as well. <gasps> Stronger, Haseo. Strong enough to destroy me. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I've actually seen a couple. I think I've seen. I've seen a couple of the Sakura War episodes. There's a lot of strange anime I've actually watched. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm actually going to do the side quests off screen. I haven't forgotten about them. Not sure if any of you are tsunami watchers, because it's actually on tonight. Yes, she did. When you need to do um, the voice of Selkova. voice as the voice of uh, Julia from Cowboy Bebop. What's on tonight on Tsunami? Let's see. We have My Hero Academia, Dragon Ball Super, The Return of Lupin, new version. Um, the Promise Neverland, there's... Let's see... Um, there's... Boruto. Um, Naruto Shippuden. I should forget what else. Oh, I should forget. Let's check the schedule. It starts at 10:30. That's when the tsunami starts. Um, I think they. I think it's actually done. I think Hunter Hunter is over. I think they showed the last episode last week. I'm a die-hard Tsunami watcher. Since it debuted in 1997, I missed only two Tsunamis. 
only two. And yes, that includes the, re the return of Toonami as well. Only two Toonamis I've missed since the debut in 1997. If you can describe it, I might be able to tell you what it is. Ah, S. Cryad. Boy, let's see, I've. S. Cryad, I've seen part of. S. Cryad. Uh, let's see, I've seen all of. Let's see, Blood Plus and Blood the Last Vampire, I've seen all of those. people like is fairy tale didn't like that either like I said I don't I'm not a big comedy watcher if you guys can handle if you can actually handle blood and gore watch elf and lead elf and lead Higurashi and another. I did grow up watching horror, horror and psycho throwers. <laughs> You might disagree with me, but I actually say it's not. The most messed up anime I would probably say is Neon Genesis Evangelion. Especially when you actually find out what it actually is about. True Elf only does have a ton of blood and gore, but... I don't think it's the most messed up anime. <laughs> One of my gamer buddies actually told me that Neon Genesis Evangelion is about the end of humanity and um, religion taking over everything. It is still a messed up anime, though. Might not be the most messed up, but... I heard about that. That is nuts. And yes, I'm still pissed about what they did with Death Note. That they changed the. Once, there used to be a goddess statue here. A goddess that exists in the world. Well, they changed the. Shall ending. you and I play a game? Haseo? Let us judge Haseo! Is he innocent? Or is he guilty? You turned to use me. From the very first moment you and I met, there's... there's...
there's no more time. Become strong? What is it you want? The last resort. No. I guess this was the only resort right from the start. Is this it? Is this what you wanted the whole time? I know. I... I won't go back. I won't go back to being the terror of Destiny death. Destiny isn't decided is on the whim of some goddess. The worst thing All we can do is not run away. Call me? An extension that surpasses the system parameters? He does survive, this I know that. The X form. We the players make this world what it is. Joy. There's one thing I one thing I don't get though. Now, Sakaki's player for real is only ten years old. Why would they actually why would CC Corp actually give the power to control the world to a ten year old? Ovan! I won't run! And I will finish this once and for all! And no, I'm not joking. Sakaki's player is actually 10 years old. Why the hell would the would TC Corp give that all that power to a 10 year old? True. Though technically, Zelkova is an AI. Kind of like Mia in the original Don Hack series. I apologize for that. Just stating a point. No, no, it's all right. A lot of people get get upset by that. I was actually pretty upset myself, so you're not the only one. And no, I will not be starting on the third game for a while. I'm gonna wait till after I finish the side quests and actually hopefully get a 100% completion before I do that. I'm probably going to start on the third game, most likely the end of next week. I agree there, especially with the Alga Grass. Which a lot of people actually think is drugs. Some kind of drug. I think it was, but... Eh. Anyway, that's all. That's all for Volume 2. I hope you've enjoyed this live stream. Until next time... Sayonara. And Silver, if you want to watch any of the footage that you may have missed, I'll be uploading this stuff a little bit later. Until next time, Sayonara.